Yo! Hello and welcome to Project Helium Tears. My name is Matt, this is Phil. We're both geeks and we both like nothing more than to go into space. Sadly, neither of us are clever enough to go into space. Probably too old as well to, uh, to join NASA. Uh, we're not really rich enough to go up with Richard Branson on Spaceship One either. So we've hatched a harebrained scheme which we think will be the next best idea. So the plan is, we're going to put a camera on a weather balloon and then send it up to the edge of space, or as close to it as we can get. Uh, and then when it crashes back to Earth, we'll hopefully be able to retrieve some lovely pictures for you. How do we do this? Well, first of all, we need a weather balloon. Now, weather balloons are around five foot uh, across, six foot across. This is just a demonstration, obviously. Uh, when we let the weather balloon go, it will rise up through the atmosphere, through the troposphere, through the stratosphere, all the time the outside atmospheric pressure will be getting less and less and less so the balloon will get bigger and bigger and bigger. When it gets to around 100,000 feet, 30 kilometers, the balloon will burst. Ooh. When the balloon bursts we need to safely get our camera back down. So we have a parachute. Ah. Demonstrated here by the uh, Sainsbury's carrier bag because we don't actually have the parachute yet. Uh, that parachute will br safely bring our payload back down to earth and our payload in this case will be a GoPro camera. And we're doing a lot of testing on this at the moment to see if it will survive water and cold and all that kind of stuff, so that's good. And we also have a, a GPS tracker, which is kind of like the, the Find My Phone apps that you have on your phone to, to, uh, to find your phone. We will hopefully be using it to uh, find our camera. And uh, I've been using it to stalk him on the way to work, and uh, I've found him in Romford and various stuff like that, so that's all going well. Now, in order to do this uh, safely and bring our kit back in one piece, uh, we have, we're going to put it in a, in a polystyrene box like this. The temperature going up to around 100,000 feet can drop down as low as 60 degrees Celsius. The uh, solar radiation up there could give you a really, really nasty Essex tan. And the uh, atmospheric pressure is so low, it's actually uh, thinner. The air up there is thinner than the air on Mars. I give these people air! Which, if you've seen Total Recall, you'll know how thin that is. Uh, we need to do it safely, basically. We need to, we're, we'll be threading the balloon through some of the busiest skies in the world, the skies of the UK. We'll be doing it away from London, though it'd be kind of nice to do it somewhere near London, see if we could get London in the background, but I think really, realistically, safely, there'll be too many aeroplanes in the sky, so we'll, we'll do it somewhere out in the countryside. Uh, when it comes back down, we'll also need to try not to break any uh, greenhouses or, or people's heads. So another reason for the uh, for the polystyrene. And also, we want to protect our kit because we're going to have probably a couple of hundred quid's worth of camera kits up there, and I'd quite like it back. As much as I'd like the photos, I'd like the cameras back too. So if you find it, send it back to us. Um, one of the main things that you probably gathered from this is that we don't really know yet what we're doing um, and we're not really qualified. Um, but you, you, didn't you have a physics degree? Physics degree? No. Uh, no, but you've got an engineering degree, haven't you? No. Maths no. degree? No. Ah, oh, okay. Well, there we go. So, there you go. We're going to have to do a lot of testing uh, and a lot of learning. So, more testing of the camera, more testing of the GPS. Um, and we're going to have to learn a bit of science, a bit of physics. Lift yeah. ratios, volume ratios. Yeah, that kind of stuff. Weather. Yeah, definitely weather, definitely weather. Um, what we're aiming to do is launch by March. Yeah, probably around yeah. March. That should give us enough time for the testing. Yeah, and uh, when we get any updates and stuff like that, we'll post it all over social media, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, all that kind of lovely stuff. Uh, and we'll post some links for you to go to. So... Um, that's about it from us, I think. Yeah, come uh, with us. Come on our journey to space. <laughs> it's, it's Project Helium Tears. We call it that because it's probably all going to end in tears. Yep, and there's a lot of gas. <laughs> bye bye! <laughs>